Hi guys, welcome back to Upjada. Uh, in this one, we are going to look at Superbase with SwellKit. We are going to create a simple to-do app with all the basic operations, uh, create, read, update, and delete. And we are not going to go through the security uh, or authorization or anything of that sort. We'll just check out how Superbase is, whether it is the best alternative for Firebase. So let's start a project. So you may have to sign up with your GitHub. Now I have a project set up here because new project takes some time. So I have it ready here. Uh, this is a new project and I'm going to create a table. So this is where you create a table. Uh, the new table, I'm going to call this as to do's. Right. Now there is a row level security that you can enable, but let's not do that. Uh, let it be accessible by everyone. Now we can define how many columns we want here. So there is ID which is already uh, there. It will be our identifier. Now create a rat is there, which is good uh, if you want to like you know sort based on the basis of uh, uh, date. Now we will add one more, which is uh, our task or the text part of our uh, to do, and it has to be a string or text here and uh, default is null that should be okay then we'll save all right we have a to do table here which is empty um, now i'm going to insert one row here or some rows id is automatically generated created at it's the current time the task i will add um, get milk or something this is one i will add a few more get uh, x um, get veggies or something all right now uh, we have three of them now let's see how we can access these right um so the way we can do that is uh, first thing is we have to set it up let's see we have to go to api here to get the urls that we need and also the key uh, and on public key this is important i'll tell you where we're going to use this so if you have gotten this far now you can go to uh, installing swelt kit i'm just going to do that npm init swelt at next now create a skeleton project with uh, nothing on it now this is good and now I'm gonna do this with uh, Svelte Add. I'm gonna set up Superbase with Svelte Add. You can also do it on your own, but when there is something that does it for us, uh, we don't have to go to do all that. There is Superbase, so uh, I think it's pretty easy now. We just run this command. Uh, this is done already. Let's go here and run this. Alright, it throws an error which says, okay, so if I add dash dash no dash ssh should work okay so it says it is done now we'll do npm install all right once that is done i'll run npm run dev let's see the local here yeah we got it now i have the code open here now let's see what it has done for us uh, i think there is a dot env which wasn't there and uh, in source we have library and then db.js now it imports these things from uh, the dot env file so we will have to update this with what we saw here in api so first thing is the project api key and on public key which we will put here on the second line the first line it's a url this one we'll do that and now once you do that you may have to restart uh, your server because uh, it's a change in the environment so it will not know all right so when that is done we can go back to the table here that we have okay we have this and now uh, a good thing is they have all these uh, APIs based on our table uh, We can use those directly in our code 
now first thing is uh, getting uh, getting all the tools right read all rows so I'll do this we'll get this so these are let's go to index and here I'll have a script type now here I'll use on mount uh, maybe I'll use to do as like you know uh, initially as a variable and then I'll use on mount which you may have to import uh, Swelt here did it for me automatically now I'll paste this here this is asynchronous let's see if uh, async works here to do okay now what we do is here to instead of uh, data says to do I just want data so, so that I can assign to do's equals data right so this come this uh, line here awaits always from to do select star means you know uh, everything then it gets the data now we can actually console this and console maybe if you do table we'll get everything you know proper order what to do okay let's go here we'll not see anything but we might see something in the console let's see uh, it says superbase is not defined okay we haven't imported superbase let's import that which is in db so superbase is uh, exported as default so let's go here and import import superbase from uh, dollar lib so uh, yeah, sorry db right so this should do it okay so we got it already so if you look at here so it's a it's an array of uh, three things now using this we'll create an each uh, loop here each to do as to do we'll also have an else if there is no to do present we'll say no to do's found or something then finally uh, we'll end it here which okay we have to show to do so we'll have a division and we may have to make it uh, flexed or something uh, now first thing we'll have is the task we'll have an input for that uh, with the value to do dot task and uh, that should yeah that's getting us here um, now I'll remove this console now we may need few things so this is an input so if we can change this as well we might need a button right uh, let's have a button this will be delete button mm, and uh, let's have another input which is a checkbox if the value are checked equals uh, to do dot is complete now if you remember we did not add this column is complete whether it is complete or not so it is not found let's go back to superbase and go back to the table uh, we will go to to do's table and we'll add one more column to our to do's uh, I should have done this when uh, I was, you know, uh, creating it. It's called uh, is complete. Now the type is uh, boolean. Um, define as a default is false. Uh, it will not be done initially. Allow nullable. No, let's not allow that because uh, we want something. So, so it created that for us. Now we'll get it here. I think uh, 
let's see now if I change one of them to the X one as true now we should get a check mark here yeah we got it so should be fine so I'll, I'll quickly add a class here called to do's to this and then uh, I'll style this dot to do's uh, display flex okay that took care of uh, pretty much everything for us now each individual to do is okay so we can also have margin bottom uh, maybe 0.25 am should be enough i think yeah so there is a small differentiation right now nothing is functional nothing happens if you click on delete or click on this or change this now in the next one i'll show you how to update these tools thanks guys bye bye